Now, you've heard of the old saying, selling coals to Newcastle. Well, with that idea in mind, a group of dancers from Birmingham is going to Paris. Pourquoi, you may ask? <laughs> Sell them snails, teach them how to play bulls, perhaps? Not exactly, as Sarah Falkland's been finding out. Down at the Café Rouge in Birmingham's Brindley Place, there's something a little ooh -la, la on the menu. Can Can girls, only they're not French, they're homegrown. And they're hopping across the channel to give the French a run for their money. We had this call from a company to go out and do a, a Moulin Rouge theme. We do many themes, of course, but this is really exciting. So whilst they're there, they'll do a Can 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 from Moulin Rouge, and they'll do the traditional Can Can, and a feather routine as well. And everybody's so excited. It's all about having fun, smiling, enjoying yourself and making people look like it's easy, where sometimes it is extremely hard, but it's always to give the appearance that it's always easy. And how easy is it to get your leg up that high? Well, it's actually quite easy, really. I mean, but I have been trained since I was two years old, so I suppose it should be a lot harder for somebody else, but it's always good fun. By the 1950s, the can-can was an acceptable and much-loved form of entertainment. Only when it first came on the scene in Paris in the early 19th century, it caused a bit of a stir. In fact, respectable Parisians thought that it showed such a shocking lack of self-control, but it was downright immoral, and the can-can here was actually banned for some time. Originally, the can-can was a dance for men. For these two, though, it's definitely a case of no can-do. Sarah Falk from BBC Midlands today, and Birmingham. Ouch. I'm having a bit of a flush. <laughs>